Vida. Mike, can you describe where we're standing right now? We're stood right on the top of Reactor 4 at Hinkley Point B Power Station. And if, if you wish, I can show you we've got an electronic dosimeter with us. And here we are on the top of the reactor, it's reading zero microsieverts. Why do you think people are so scared of nuclear power? Why is there this fear? Uh, th there's no doubt uh, the, the recent events have caused tensions to, to arise and I think it's only right and proper that people ask questions of the nuclear industry and I think it's important for us just to open the doors as we're doing today so that you can see inside, you can see how the power station works, you can see the safety systems that we have in action, you can see the wide diversity of, of separation systems and shutdown systems we've got. Every 10 years we have a periodic safety review which requires us to go back, benchmark the station, compare it to modern standards and indeed upgrade our standards so that we're, we're constantly at the forefront of, uh, of safety systems and the technology that's there. How safe are nuclear reactors like this from something unforeseen like a terrorist attack? Well, obviously I'm not going to go into details of the, uh, of the systems and the protection systems we've got in place, but what we do is we, we have a, a variety of, of shutdown systems, we have backups, and then we have backups for backups, and then we have the diversity, different means, so if we were to lose power, we will rely on diesel systems or gas turbine systems in order to provide the backup power supply. And I think it's, it's that range of systems and that constant uh, maintenance and looking at what hazards could it could ensue, including uh, obviously any common mode failure from a, a terrorist type of incursion to make sure that we're, we're quite rightly protected. How much power does it produce? How many homes does it heat? How many people does it employ? Combined across the two reactors here at Hinkley Point B, that's enough for a million homes of power electricity. In terms of employment, um, we employ directly 550 people on site uh, with pretty regularly 100 plus contractors who are regularly working on site. Are these jobs only for the really highly skilled or is this employment for local people that local people would do? There's a myth that, that nuclear is very complex, it, it's, it's not. Um, the, the, the basic engineering has been around for many years but as you can see from the scale of things we, we need to maintain all of the components, we need to keep all the components clean and we need to be on top of it. So there's a whole range of skills that, that we employ and it's, it's certainly not just for the, the nuclear scientists, although we do have one or two of those. Do people want another nuclear power station on their doorstep? What's the local community view here? Well, I, I think if you look at the, the staff that are employed at the station, they, they live locally, they're part of the local community and, and they, they're adding a great deal to that local community. So. You know, the perception from the staff that they're employed and the people that are wor working and living nearby, uh, it, it, it feels very positive. Do you think we need these nuclear power stations? Uh, it, it is essential. Uh, if you look at where we're going in the future, where we're going to get our power from to, to supply the country, we need to have a balanced energy mix across the country. We need to ensure that we're protecting the environment from greenhouse gas emissions and, and hence I believe nuclear is a vital place to play in the future. Why do you think nuclear has got such a bad press? I, I think there's, there's connotations that uh, obviously have connected with, with other things. The, there is the, the, the secrecy that, that perhaps has been surrounding it from, from other uses of nuclear and, and we've just got to open our doors and let people see that actually it is a simple, robust sound technology that can be used to, to generate electricity for, for many, many years to come.